What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm back with part 9 of my Advanced Balkan Architect course where I'm showing you how to create an office building in Revit and we're starting from scratch from nothing and I'm showing you how to produce complete project documentation ready for construction all within Revit. Uh, now part 9 means we're up to 9th hour uh, so I've been working on this project for over nine weeks and I'm adding a new hour each week. Now, if you want to get access to this whole course, check out my Patreon first link in the description of this video. There you can find uh, this course, uh, this long course that I'm creating and also multiple other courses. Uh, I've got a bunch of courses that are all uh, about uh, numerous advanced uh, Revit topics and uh, the one hour format allows me to go in depth uh, for each of these courses and then ha I have long ones like this one I'm working on right now and I've also done a like a residential building like a residential house in Revit and that was a five-hour course so if you're interested in any of this uh, first link in the description takes you to my patreon and also you can find all of the project files like this office building that I'm going to be showing you now so without uh, further ado let's get into the uh, project and let me show you where we're at right now so let me start recording the screen here Okay, so as you can see, this is the building and we have uh, a little bit of the surroundings modeled now. And if I go here into 3D, this is what we have. So I show you how to do the whole surroundings, how to do the terrain, how to do the street, how to do all of the road markings, the parking spots, everything like that. How to add the tree, the curb here for the floors, uh, pretty much all of that. So I show you how to do the surroundings of uh, the building. Uh, then uh, moving on, I show you how to do ceiling plans. So here, this is one of the ceiling plans. I've shown you how to create the ceiling plan, how to select, uh, set up all of the view uh, adjustments, and then how to place lights. And as you can see, the lights are fitting in the grid. So here, even if you take a look at these lights, so they're all fitting into the proper ceiling grid. And then here we have these smaller lights uh, now these look a bit weird but if you go to the regular floor plan you're going to notice that there we have uh, these bathroom stalls and they of course have to have some lights. Okay, let's go back here into the ceiling plan. So I show you how to create all of the lights, but then I show you how to create a secondary ceiling plan for your construction. So here we have a beam system and some beams, and I show you how to add the beam tag, how to set up all of the view properties so you can show your uh, floor construction and this is done as a ceiling view. And then of course tagging all of the important elements. So that's what I show you here. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, and also I do this here, uh, let me see. Yeah, and I also show you how to use the path of travel tool to calculate the routes. And as you can see, it's going all around the furniture and all of that and how to escape out of each room here in the building. So I show you all of that uh, within this course. So that's what this course is all about. Uh, we do a little bit of the exterior, all of the ceiling plans, and in the end, the path of travel tool all really necessary for final project documentation. Now we have the surroundings and then we'll be able to do some really nice renderings, especially with the lights on the ceilings. We can do some cool uh, night renderings. I think that's going to be really interested in the interesting in the future. Okay, so that's it for this little announcement for the course. If you want to get the whole course as well as all of my other advanced courses, first link in the description takes you to my Patreon. There you can find everything and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial here on YouTube. YouTube in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.